Hey y'all, it's Kristen. I have another journal, believe it or not. This one is another Reader's Digest condensed book. There are five signatures and the image on the front is from Far Mirage. I will leave a link down in the description box. And I just have a hitch post fastener and some sorry silk for the closure. I don't know how many pages there are in this. Again, I forget to count before I do these. The uh, scrapbook paper that I used for this is Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Botanical. I love it so much. All right. Oh, and the digitals that I used in the book are from Screech Owl Studio. I think these are my favorite. I can't decide. Out of all the ones I've used from there so far, this might be my favorite. There's a vintage playing card. Old math book page. This says unique. And there's a tag from the kit. I backed it on coffee dyed paper and then a flower seed packet. Those flower seed packets are in my shop. I want to thank everyone who bought a journal. That I like that right there. It has the month you can fill in and then the days of the week. Um, thank everyone who bought a journal and also all the people who are sharing the flower seed packets online or whatever. I really appreciate that. This is a seed packet from the kit and I just put, there were some uh, little stamps with vegetables on them that I uh, just cut up and put in there because I wasn't really sure what to do with them. And then here's an old postcard with pansies on it, like on the front. This is from 1914. Anyway, thank you everybody. That came in the kit. I just backed it on some fabric and then here's a check from 1927. Another one from the kit, again backed on fabric. So a little flip up, flip down with some stamps and muslin, music paper. These two are from the kit. Receipt from the 1960s. I mean, see that? That's really pretty. All right. That says perfect. Another card from the kit. And another flower seed thing. Did I say those flower seed packets are in the shop? I forget. This is like video 52. So, <laughs> uh, there's an old receipt from 1908. And that's from the kit as well. There's a pocket here. That right there is from the kit. Again, I backed it on some fabric. And these are also from the kit. Another vintage playing card. So pretty. Another one of these with some stamps. And another card from the kit. And then one of these scans of uh, the old flower seed packets that I've told you about in the other videos. Those uh, are from the 1910s. Another pocket that says memories. And then that. And another one of those old flower seed packets. By the way, my husband went to the grocery store today to pick up a few things while he was in town. It was like the apocalypse happened. There was nothing there, like no meat. It was terrible. It's 
kind of freaking me out. Here's another postcard. There's no date. Oh, yeah, there is. They wrote it in 1914. Anyway, I told y'all in another video, Megan's College was shut down. They're not having classes. They're all doing it all online. That's a bank receipt or something from 1893. Oops, I just skipped a whole bunch of pages. There's a receipt or something. I talked about that before. Look at the phone number. It's three digits. 666. <laughs> Not a good phone number to have. Here's a pocket from the kit. And another of the tags. And another postcard with pansies. Um, maybe 1917, but I'm not absolutely sure about that. I picked pansy postcards. I don't know if I said this already because of the front. Here's a little Rita flip with some vintage stamps and other things and then two of the cards from the kit. These are like paintings or something. I'm not sure. It's all very pretty. Am I in frame still? I think I went down too far. Here is another flip up, flip down. That came from the kit as well, backed on some fabric. Again, the revenue stamp receipt that I got from Allison. Hi, Allison. I'm using your thing a lot because it's so pretty. I love the writing on it. It's from like 18... What was the date on this? I forget. 1862. Another thing from the kit. And then a first day cover. I have these in the shop. This one's from 1948. A greenhouse. Oops. There's the silverware coupon, or whatever it is that I've been putting in there. I almost put that too low. Just stick that down in there. Hopefully y'all can see that from if I just keep it down here. I guess I'll find out when I go to edit this video. It's another pocket. It says gratitude. And a tag. Whoever was asking about the, that reminds me. Someone was asking about the gratitude stamp or the definition stamps. Um, I got them from my friend Candy. Hi, Candy. And she got them from eBay. And I believe that those stamps are, um, what do you call uh, retired. Here's some kind of receipt thing that I scanned onto some uh, parchment paper and then tried to coffee dye. I like how it came out even though it kind of ran. Anyway, they're retired stamps from, dang Oh, wait. Do I have them? Okay, here they are. What is it? Stampin' Up. So, you can try to look on eBay and see if you can find them. I'll, I haven't answered your comments yet. As of this video, I will. But I'm just letting you know, if you're watching this video, if you were the one that asked. I don't even remember if I showed those, what was in that pocket. But, we'll just keep going. Another one from the kit, and here's an independent ice company receipt from 1904. I know, okay. I keep making sure, I keep moving this book around. Okay, this was from the kit. I just put some fabric, there's some lace at the top, and there's an extra piece of paper under it. And then this is just from the scrapbook paper. I liked the 
pattern on that paper. So I just stuck that in there too. There's the other side of that letter receipt thing. That is dated 1886. Again, that's a scan that I did on some parchment. One of these days I'm gonna get a laser printer so I can print stuff and then coffee dye it. It's another vintage playing card. And that's it. Okay, believe it or not, I have another journal to do a video on, but I will wait and do it in the next video. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.